So tonight I spent about an hour in the basement and I threw a little project together. We, come on, camera dust. So we took some plastic bag, we took a plastic bag, some foil. Oh, uh, we pretty much made a flag out of it. You can see I got like fringe on the edges so we can gather some electricity. Uh, just an idea. Threw it together in about an hour. So we got a plastic bag and foil flag up there. We got our wire coming down. And come over here. Let's see what it's. Let's turn on AC and see what does first. Yeah, we got connected to the ground right there. And that wire goes up there like that. Yeah. Right, let's turn this on. Let's see what we get in the left hand. Oh, let's see. Nothing there. No AC. Turn DC. It's kind of 0.6. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh, half a volt. Yeah, nice. Ooh, let's see what it's doing. That's definitely doing something. Well, I mean, that's something. I mean, that's half a volt right there. Okay, that's actually a little surprising. It ain't going to be that much. I'm going to. Well, one half of the other day, man, like 6 volts. That is nice. Look at that. And it's going up a little bit. Come on, wind. Give me a little breeze. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful up there. And that thing, it like blows in the window. I'm sure it was blowing in the window. I mean, if it was windy, it'd be a lot better. I mean, it moves. I mean, you see that move. I mean, we see the tail of that thing move. I think because that's not what's up now. So there you go. Yeah, it's another experiment. I'm going to take that slide down. We'll take a closer look at it. See what the fringe you see right there? This fringe right here, that's in this time consuming part. You just put some spray adhesive on there. I don't know if you can see it, I got clear packing tape going around all the edges so they don't tear out your roof. Clear, clear packing tape, clear packing tape. So we got some eye hooks in there, zip ties holding on. We got clear tape going around all the edges so they can't tear. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Let's sit down gently, not to mess with that fringe. So we got our fringe on here to grab the electrons out of the air. It'd be a lot more better if it was windy. Is that windy? I mean, it's tough to do. I tell you what, you can feel the static in this thing. It's not showing me either, though. I mean, it's nice. Well, what can I say? It's just an idea. It's a tiny ass idea. And it's a pain that's a little idea for it. Sit down gently. Get the wire. Oh, I just I took the wire. I took the wire right on her. I just took the foil tape and just stuck it right to the bare foil. And get the wire coming down. Three strips of foil about, what was that, five, six feet long? And you can see how we took that foil tape and put strips on it to keep from breaking apart. So basically, I laid these two on the edges down first. And I took this one half and half, half and half, and I just taped it right in the middle. I mean, I have no idea what this flag would even represent or anything. I mean, I, I think you know what it represents, Brian Roper Nation. I mean, that's your Brian Roper Nation flag. Unlike any other flag in the world, it makes electricity. I'll tell you what, that is one of a kind. That's beautiful. I love that. Perfect. And now I gotta clean up the mess I made on there making it. Look at that. Yeah, these, are, these things are always forward on there. 
I can see, yeah. You can see how they have the clear tape on there so it can't tear. So that is foil on the plastic bag. That's a warrant the other day. I should have got the contractor bag because that's awesome now. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is nice. And then you can just got the you know, plastic bag for the static on the other side. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's just an idea. I tell you, you guys enjoy your fireworks up there. I mean, this is what I do. And you're not going to see Brian Roper playing video games, magic cards, or anything, even though he has autism, he's not. Uh, you're going to see him doing stuff like this every day. And that's beautiful. You get the clear tape on there, but the whole down, just keep from tearing. Yeah. I got our fringe completely exposed. I have a lot of details on there. Yeah, this thing's huge. Yeah, we cut that perfect. Yeah. What'd you call that more like a pennant? It's like a pennant flag. I wanted it as sharp as I can make it. Right down to a point, fringe and all for those edges. And it's that little thing right there. A hell of a thing. Yeah. We put our screw right in there like that so it swivel. It's like a slide right in the pipe. A slide right in there. So we got like a one inch PVC pipe and we got an inch and a quarter. It just slides right together. I had some bricks out here in case I need to do some guy wires, which I didn't. That was like four feet of pipe there. It's probably about a foot and a half around. Yeah, there's my Loctite spray adhesive right there. Oh, you fuck. Now I use the Loctite spray adhesive multi purpose. Yeah. So when I was making this, I read this. It says, what does it say back there? Where is it? Danger. Extremely flammable. Do not use near or soar near open flames, heat, sparks, or sources of static electricity. So we're reading that and looking at this gone. Yeah, I was spraying it right on the table here. So I'm looking at this gone, yeah. What do you call this? Uh, open flame, uh, open flame. That's your pilot lights for the furnace and water here. And then we got to what? Plastic here. And we're putting foil on it while it's full of static electricity. So you got our sparks and our flames all right here. Real good idea. Or really, for that to ignite, the initial point, and you have to get just the right amount of oxygen in there for it to do anything. I mean, the way that is, there's like way too much uh, fuel in there, not enough oxygen. I think you get like one tenth of a, the, per, the proper percent for that to ignite, so it's just not going to. And so that's that part. Yeah, so this is where this was our workspace here. Yeah, this is a little thing I made. I took one of these plastic containers, I had like a ten of them down there. I used to get pasta out from the giant new store. Grocery store. I just took on the bottoms and yeah, stuck it on there. Yeah, I sprayed some spray diesel on there, stuck some graph paper on it, and just cut it out. And we just went right along those corners blocks. Basically cut out half inch teeth. And I measured this to like, uh, it's about five feet long, actually five and a half. So we're gonna go about 60 inches. So that's like, what is that, four inches long? For like 60 divided by 4, yeah, 15, it's good. You know, work fine. So you just place that on there 15 times. On that side, other side, on there 15 times, just cut it right out. Trace it and cut it out. Very easy. Now I've got these two pieces of flag left. And these are the parts that cut off the these parts here to make the fringe. So we're going to take these and put them together back to back. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to put some foils on the middle that be grounded. And this will be your paw, and this will be your ungrounded, and this will be your ungrounded. It'll be back to back with grounded foil in between them, like a capacitor. And it'll all be together, we'll put some fringe on there, and we'll just see what that does. So basically, yeah, this facing this way, and this one's not facing that way, it'll be facing the other way. It'll be glued together with foil in the middle. And we're going to have grounded foil in the middle, and we're going to have ungrounded foil on the outside. And we're going to see what that does, we're going to try to isolate it. I'm going to put like about an inch in there and keep it, uh, keep it far away from the fringe. So it completely the ground of foil isolated in the middle from the fringe. And that way we'll see what that does. And we'll see if that makes a much bigger voltage than that one did. I'm going to just leave it that way and just glue it right together with foil in the middle. Very simple. And I'm using my Samsonite, not Samsonite, 
What's this full intro? Uh, that's an act fan back full intro. She's not at the table today. Yeah, my f good friend William Murphy of eventstable.com gave me that chair for free. He sells out in California. I think his brother has a place on the East Coast, too. So there's your act full intro. And that's what I should the whole time. It's comfortable. And yeah, there's a flag. And that's what we're doing today. And we got that train over here just sitting there, waiting to go to build. And we tear apart all the wood over there and build the rest of the engines. And that's our articulated car. I have to put a pin right here in the middle, like overlap the car this way, overlap another car this way. I want your wheels in the box. It's gonna need air on there. And there's your airline for that brake line, breakaway thing on there for somehow. Because if that coupling comes on, you want that air hose to separate so it walks on the brakes. Yeah. There's our other wheel. Yeah, your wheels are the couplers. Here's your little articulated cars to hold my engines up there. I'm going to carry track and everything on there. Yeah, there's our signals. We got two signals there our defect detector, unbound slow dragging stuff. I'm going to try to make all my signals solar powered. Yeah. There's that engine. Oh, we bought this alternator the other day. I went to Advanced Auto, got that alternator. Yeah, there's your dragging equipment. So that goes, hits it, button opens the switch. You got this on a center for your unbalanced load. And a solar panel made of old solar light. Yeah. I tell you what, we were going to use 120 with this relay. But 120 and 120 isolated from that. And it's just not going to work. Yeah, we're going to put 120 on there. I have to put the PVC ring here, PVC ring there, so it can't go around the whole track. Same thing here, it's going to be behind the house and in front of the house. And I'm going to get a green signal here when you, when you trip this. When that goes across that, it closes the relay, and it turns the signal red. Then we get to the other side of the house, like this one. And this signal over here turns to green, and this one turns to red. And if I'm dragging anything or unbounced load, uh, this goes here and it like, kills the relay. Turns all my signals red. But I was thinking, I don't need to add a yellow. So if I'm dragging something, or unbalanced, it'll give me a yellow. And then when I get the next one, we give it red. So we might put three lights on there. And that's how Brian's mind works. There's our ties. A bunch more ties in there. That's all our parts for a bridge. We need a 50 foot curved bridge around the house to keep the truck level grade. And we've got our wheels here. And we've got our heavy duty BMX wheels. And we're going to use these to bend the pipe. So we're going to make a pipe bender. I'll set these wheels a little bit. It'll give me the proper curve I need. I'm going to stick a lever right on that gear. It should work. So this pipe is quite soft, so it should be able to bend it real easily. So that's how that's what's going on there. Ah, I should have knocked there. Yeah, that big pile of wood. So, not a lot of wood in there. You got plenty of track and tires to do it. Oh, there's a train. I think we're going to use a whole length air hose. So basically, if I get another wheel, we can make two more cars. That's beautiful. That's everything. Kind of